This is lesson 50 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson we're going over local scope and functions, variables which are declared within a function as well as the function parameters have local scope. That means they are only visible within that function. Here's a function, my test, with a local variable called loc. So this is our function, it's called my test. It contains this code, which first initializes this variable loc to the string foo, and then it console logs um, variable loc, which would console log foo, the string foo. So that's what this function does. Once we actually get to this line, we're calling the function, which would print foo. But if we try to console log the variable loc, which only exists inside of this function, we get undefined. And again, that's because variable loc exists inside of the function. It is a local variable to this function and therefore cannot be called outside of the function. So when we call it, we get undefined. So loc is not defined outside of the function. Instructions declare a local variable, my var, inside of my local scope, run the test, and then follow instructions commented out in the editor. Okay, so declare a local variable which would exist inside of this function. So my var, my var, didn't say to give it any, initialize it to any value or anything. Run the test and then follow, run the check console, my var is not defined outside of my local scope. My var is not defined. Now remove console log line to pass the test. And now console log never called, which is what checks it to make sure that it we passed the test. But really all that that was, if I paste that back on there, here we're trying to console log my var which only exists inside of here. But once we take that off, we don't get the error anymore. And it actually just runs my local scope, which will um, print it out. And also, I think we're getting this because we didn't actually assign here string which we can do real quick. So now we get foo. Just wondering on why it wasn't printing out what we wanted. But now it has the value of foo. So now when it gets here, it's called. Oops. The function's called and runs console logs foo. So we're good now.